Hello. Today I'm going to be reviewing Set Active. So if you don't already know, Set Active is an activewear line company. They sell sports bras, leggings, shorts, uh, even socks. They just came out with underwear, seamless underwear. And I think they're coming out with a swimwear line. So they also sell sweats. So they sell sweatpants and just um, some like boyfriend tees and just stuff to wear for when you work out or just hang out and lounge and stuff. Before I buy something, I tend to do like so much digging into what it is. I look at so many videos and um, I just wish there were more videos of people sharing their reviews and stuff. So I'm gonna make my own. So they have two main types of um, fabrics. They have Lux Form and Sculpt Flex. I don't have any Lux Form, but that's supposed to be a super buttery, more loungy type of fabric. And this is Sculpt Flex is more um, supportive and uh, sculpting, I guess. For sizing, when they first started out, they only had three sizes. They had extra small to small, um, small to medium, and medium to large. And they have a whole size chart and everything on their Instagram and on their website. So if you if you bought something before and don't know what you would wear now, um, they have that there. Also, I noticed a difference. Um, it might just be me, but a uh, kind of softness in the newer fabric than when they were only three sizes. There's definitely, for me, I don't know if it's the way I washed them or something or dried them, but they definitely feel softer now. So to start, this is the bag they come in. They also have little tags like this. For wash care, it does say to machine wash cold and wash with light colors. That's what I do. It says you can tumble dry on low, um, but I just, I don't mind air drying them, so that's what I do. Starting off with the box cup bra. So this is the one I have on in Sky. I got a small in the, the updated sizing. In terms of support, all of these are very light support to medium support, depending on your cup size and the size that you get. So for me, I don't really need much support, but it's still, it's still somewhat supportive. So as you can see, it's a very boxy type of cut and um, it doesn't really swoop in. They used to have a scoopy, a scoop bra or something, but I don't think they have that anymore. It has ridging all over, and it's just overall just a pretty basic type of sports bra. In terms of comfort, I do think it is very comfortable. Uh, most of the time, this is what I wear like almost every day. Next, the Box X bra. It looks a little smaller in the pictures. It has a crisscross on the back, and um, personally, I get kind of insecure about like my shoulders and my arms and stuff, so I would think this would make like me look really broad or um, have my like armpit skin sticking out and stuff but I actually really liked it it's actually one of my favorites and um, I kind of wanted to stick to the more basic side of things but I really ended up liking this bra and it even seems a little bit more supportive because of the um, uh, crisscross in the back. The fabric is advertised as Sculpt Flex I believe but I did notice that it is a little bit flatter than the regular Sculpt Flex. The ridges are barely even there. They're kind of smaller, really soft, really nice overall. But just so you know, it's not the same fabric as the box cut bra. They all usually have the little set logo in the front. And for these, I also got a size small. With the one shoulder bras, I also was afraid of the same issue. I was kind of hesitant to buy it because of my shoulders and my arms. And you know what, screw that. It looked so cute. It could be an outfit on its own. It's very like classy. You can dress it up or dress it down. I really like this one. Also, I did notice some inconsistencies with the sizing and you kind of have to keep pulling it up sometimes. So I got this in the color Spring and Canyon and I later got it in the color Oat Milk and I noticed a huge difference. I'm not sure if it was the way I, I dried it. I'm not sure if they just changed it up. I think they might have mentioned that they have or something. But there's definitely a difference being that they're both labeled as smalls. But maybe they're just experimenting with their sizing for now or updating it or something. The next bra is a, one of their older ones, so they don't sell it anymore, but just in case they come back, I guess. It's the Racerback in Sculpt Flex. They do have a Racer Racer V, I think it's called, for Lux form. Um, but I have a Sculpt Flex one. This one I got in a medium to large. I really like this one. It's pretty basic. I just got it in black onyx. It's definitely the most supportive out of all of these. All right, now on to bottoms. First time I got these leggings, they were really hard to put on, but they're really compressive, but they're still super comfortable. And I was a little bit hesitant to get these because they are seamless in the back, and I just thought that would make me look weird, like, without really much shape. With lighter colors, though, I have seen some shadow peeking through, so, like, it is a little bit see-through with light colors like oat milk just so you know so with the leggings they have the little logo behind the left leg at the very bottom and since they are leggings you might have to wear um, seamless underwear if you would like they do ride down a little bit they are very high-waisted so they're it's not hard to fix but they do get some kind of like wrinkles when you're sitting down and then stand back up but that's pretty normal I guess I don't mind let me try to show you so I just stood up 
him down a little bit. Then when you put him up, you're chilling. And with the bike shorts, they're pretty much just like the leggings. Um, they are a little shorter than I expected them to be. I expected them to go down a little bit more. For me, when, I, when I'm walking around a lot, um, they do kind of ride up and look more like spandex. And now onto the body crop. So again, really hesitant to buy this because of my arms, but I really like this. It does cut off for me at a weird spot in my opinion. The material of this is advertised as Sculpt Flex. It has a very cute little design in the back. Now for the sweatpants. They have their sweat collection that has hoodies, sweatshirts, sweatpants, and sweat shorts. They say that you can get a size smaller or bigger um, depending on how you want them to fit. I was not sure what to do because I don't want them super baggy, but I don't want them to be tight in weird places and stuff. Again, they have that cute little circle logo in the front. The pockets are really big and they're really soft. This is their material. Uh, it kind of reminds me like a really soft towel, but it's not really like a towel feeling. They're 100% cotton, so if you do dry them, they might shrink, so that's something to put into consideration. I also got the sweatpants in small. They do stretch out once you wear them, so I ordered a size small and medium for the sweatshorts. This is the small and the medium together, but the difference is pretty much in how much it flares out, the length, and the waistband is the biggest difference. So here I am trying on the small, and I ended up actually sticking with this. You can't really tell much of a difference when I compare them side by side um, in the difference between the small and the medium. But I really like how the small fit. Here's the medium um, on right now. And you can tell it's a little bit looser in person. And um, the bottoms are definitely a little bit wider as well. And remember, they will loosen up throughout the day, but once you wash them, they'll be back to normal. And a little bit after I bought the other sweats, they came out with new ones and a new style. So the only thing that changed is that little box logo. They don't have the circle anymore. And I think they might have changed the fit a little bit. But overall, they still fit really well, and yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. This is the set crew neck, and I'm in love with this. It is supposed to have kind of an oversized fit. This is a size small, but it is probably the warmest thing I own, and it's so comfortable, so I really love this, and it also has a little logo there too. This is the uniform tee, and I like the fit and the feel of it and everything. I just don't know if it was worth it for me for the price. It is a very good material, but I probably wouldn't get it again. And last but not least, we have the little socks. They're normal socks. They have little ridges. The little logo comes in different colors to match your sets. Yeah, I like them. I just got some with my order to try them out. And this, this is the only pair I have. So I really like them. They're pretty basic and very cute. I really hope this video was helpful. And I'll see you guys next time.